Hello my dolls and welcome to another session of cello tips and tricks here on the cello doll YouTube channel. Today is an octave exercise for you advanced players who want a challenge and we're gonna go up the C string with these octaves. Oh yeah, we're going there. I really want to put some of you dolls to the test and share my wacky exercises with you. So before I get to the exercise layout and some of my shifting tips, please give this video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. Being sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever Chelly and I post a new video. If you want to go above and beyond, I am also on Patreon. You can help support Cello Doll and get access to VIP content. So today we are going to be tackling octave shifting. When you're on one string, you got to go up high and it's like a Hail Mary. Oh my God. I really hope I get there. Now, before I get to the layout, here are some of my tips. This exercise is really going to work the back of your arm because we have to keep our elbow floating and suspended so we can shift up and down easily. If you bring your elbow down every single time you come back from a shift, that's an extra action. Keep the elbow floating loading and it's going to help train that muscle and also part of your back. So my second tip for these shifts, be super vigilant with your ear as you come down. Often we do the big shift and we go yay and then when we come down we don't really listen. Don't underestimate it. You have to be as picky with the intonation as you come down. Third thing is to release your weight, slide, stay in contact and then sink back in. If you try to hold your weight, it's gonna be jagged and you might get stuck. So really release your weight, bring it back and sink. Release, sink. You want this to be fluid, easy going, and you have control over when your weight comes out of the string and comes in. So I'm not telling you dolls to come out of the string. I'm not telling you to let go. I'm telling you to release your weight, but you're still gonna be sliding and gliding on top of the string. Do some practice slides so you feel really comfortable with this motion. Also, I forgot there's a fourth tip, ha ha ha. Make sure when the neck ends, as you're getting to that point, bring the thumb up. If we're sliding uh, and the thumb is late, you're gonna have a little hiccup in your shift. So as you come up, the thumb, oh, it's ready and it's rolling. I don't have anything interrupting me. A rolling thumb, that doesn't make much sense, but we're ready and the thumb is prepared. Okay, that's the whole point. Prepare the thumb before the neck ends. So here's the layout of the exercise. These combinations are some of the most frequently found combinations in octave shifts. First, you're gonna find your ascending finger combination. So down low, coming up, all the way up the scale. So that is what this first group of numbers represent. Then we have the descending finger pairs where you're starting off high and then we're coming down to a finger. Cross all the strings and we're going down our scale. So when you dolls want to do this for the first day, pick one pair of numbers per column. So you might say, okay, today I'm going to do one to three, one to three, one to three, and I'm gonna do two to one, two to one, et cetera, et cetera. And then for the next day, pick a different combination of numbers and you can rotate them. So you can do this exercise with all sorts of variations. For the sake of this being a demonstration video, <laughs> I'm gonna go a little wacky and I am going to do every single combination. I'm gonna pick one per string, goodness help me. I don't know, I just want you to be able to have a good reference. So this whole exercise will also be based in the key of C major. We're gonna be starting with open C and our harmonic. So depending on how comfortable you are in these higher positions, I would recommend going to one of the notes of your 
triad or the relative minor, which is the sixth scale degree. That way it still stays in the context of your scale. So enough chit chat, it's time to watch me sweat and attempt this octave scale exercise challenge, whatever you wanna call it. We're about to lay it down right now. So first we're gonna start on the C string. So starting on two, destination of three. First one's easy, cause you start with an open string. starting with two and shifting to one. Switching the fingers, one, going to two. One to three. Let's get to it and start on B. Time for D.
Congratulations! That's Chelly clapping for you. So now we're still on three, but when we shift down, we're gonna now land on two, no longer one. Okay, so now we're on two and we're going to go to one. to two. Let's start with D. the exercise with the descent 
I wanted to give you dolls one extra tip before we close out this video. As you know, when we had to switch over to the next string, we were very lucky in that our reference was a harmonic. Right? But what if it's not that simple? So if we have a B flat, and we gotta find an A flat over here, find it first where it's easy. Find it on your A string and do unison matching a couple times. And then continue the exercise. You always have some sort of reference point that you can use when you have to start somewhere up high that may be foreign to you. And it's also really important for you guys to be familiar with the layout of your fingerboard, not just on the A string, but on the other strings too. So, I know it was a lot, but again, check in on the beginning where I give you tips on how to really focus on one finger pairing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I hope you found this exercise helpful. And also, challenge your friends, you know, send them this. Have a cello practice buddy, but if not, you got Chelly and I always. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is The Cello Doll. And in addition to YouTube, you can find me on Facebook as well as Instagram. Again, please give this video a like and subscribe. It really helps. We look forward to the next video. And until then, happy practicing, my dolls. Bye.